Thank you, Mr. Walmart. Hello, how are you doing this evening? Fine. My name is Joe Rosenthal, and I need to speak to someone about a complaint that I have because I was in there this afternoon, mm -hmm. and I was eating the McDonald's, and I want to apologize about my voice. <clears throat> That's fine. Because I recently had a bout of throat cancer, and they had to remove part of my chain Oh, God bless you. Well, God bless you too, but I didn't cough or sneeze. But anyway, I was in the McDonald's this afternoon. And I'm 67 years old, and I was having my McNuggets, and I, I have my tray, and I'm bringing it in, you know, to go dump it in the trash. Uh -huh. And I stepped on a McNugget, and I slipped, and I fell. So I'm, I'm trying to call around to see who may have been there this afternoon, and do it, you know, do it this afternoon, because I need some witnesses for my lawsuit. Okay, hold on, let me get your name. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I hope I'm not going to start coughing again. Thanks for holding us, Rick, and I help you. Hello, how are you doing? Good. My name is Joe Rosenthal. And I was in Excuse me, I'm sorry? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speaking as clear as I can, but okay. I've, I've had a problem with throat cancer within the past few months. Okay. I was in there this afternoon, and I, I was eating the McDonald's, and I slipped on a McNugget, and I, hit, I hurt my hip very badly, and I banged my head on the floor when I fell. And I'm, I'm calling to find out who was there at the time that I could call in a, in a lawsuit. Okay, you uh, actually need to go through McDonald's now. You don't go through Walmart. Well, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking about suing the Walmart. We haven't gotten to that stage yet, but I'm trying to find out who was uh, in the Walmart because I know there were a lot of people, so, and I saw a couple people chuckling and they had like their little smocks on and stuff. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm prepared to offer money for anybody who can come forward and, and tell me what they saw. Okay, well, the first of all, I can't tell you who's that. You have to go through the law process and we go that way. Well, I know you have a schedule and I know that you I, can But I cannot give that to you, though. You can't tell me who I cannot that. tell you. If you're going to litigate against a, a subsidiary or Walmart, what you have to do is go through the litigation process. Okay, I might okay. name I might name you in the suit as well because you're being evasive and you're I'm not being evasive, ma'am. That is you are you're you're evading responsibility and you have an elderly woman with throat cancer who is herself in this store today. I'm not legally bound to give you any of that information. I you are not a damn it. You claim you you did it through the wall. You need to go through the McDonald's. That's who the closest. And I think someone did it on purpose. I think somebody was throwing nuggets on the floor in the walkway where people would be walking on purpose, and somebody would fall. <laughs> I wasn't here, ma'am. What you need to do is you need to bring it up with the McDonald's. Okay. They have their own lawsuit. They have their own... What, uh, what is your name? My name is Rick. Rick who? Uh, Rick is just a man. That is not your last name. No, what we do not give out our last name. What are you in the witness protection program? No, ma'am. My name is... Uh, there's only one Rick here. So you are giving me the run around here. You're no, I'm not. I'm just telling you that. I slipped and bashed my head open on your ma'am, you need to go through McDonald's. Because of your greasy nuggets. And it, it's well, and now they, that is McDonald's. If you need to talk to the McDonald's manager over there, who you need to contact. Okay, put him on the line. Uh, I, they, you have to call. It, I don't have the phone. Hang on, I'm gonna give you the information. Okay. I'm gonna have somebody pick up, and they'll give you the line to the McDonald's. Hang on, okay. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Okay, I'll tell to give you this number. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to clarify something. Yes. I was in the McDonald's, and I was bringing my tray up to the trash, and I slipped on a McNugget. Okay. You know, we went to shop on shopping carts are. Okay. Now, that is outside of, technically, it's outside of the McDonald's serving area. Mm -hmm. And that would be in the Walmart. So who do I need to speak to? Because I think Rick is being evasive with me. I want to talk to Rick again because, technically, I didn't slip inside the McDonald's. I slipped okay, inside the Walmart. Hold on. Thank you, this Rick, and I help you. Hello, Rick. This is Jim again. Yes, ma'am. I need to clear something up with you. Now, I slipped on this nugget. Okay, technically, it was outside of the McDonald's. It was, it was several feet outside of, you know, the, the serving, the eating area of the McDonald's, over by the shopping carts. Okay. But there was an elderly man who was uh, greeting the, uh, the shoppers coming in. Okay. And he, uh, he had a little chuckle when I felt you wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to be willing to give me his name. Uh, Ma'am, I can't do that. That's what I'm telling you. By law, I can't do that. You can come into the store and okay, fill out listen, a... I don't think this involves a McDonald's because this happened. it was a McDonald's. You would still McDonald's. have to come in the store, though. That's what I'm telling you. If, if you're claiming it's against one... Why do I have to go back there? So because you, you, have to fill out an, you have to fill out an incident report. What are you going to throw down uh, ice cubes while I'm going to get into something? You're, you're being facetious now. I'm not being... What does that mean? What are you talking about? This? You're, you're, you're trying to make light of this. I'm not trying to make light. I'm trying to give you information. I you know, know. I bashed my head apart on the shot. I, I understand and I sympathize with that now, but you've got to understand. I can't give you... You're not sympathizing. You're talking about all kinds of feces and 
I don't know what that word means. No. I said you're being facetious, meaning you're, you're, you're thinking that we're going to throw down ice cubes. That's ridiculous. I mean, what I need you to do is come into the store. You can talk to Philip or Eric, and they will fill out the interim report, and they will do everything that they do. There, there are steps that we got to follow. I can't give you names. Okay, in the meantime, I have medical bills that people are going to come after me for. Who am I going to send these bills to? Now you need to come in the store, and we will go through what our, our insurance company. We will go through that, and then they'll go from there. I can't tell you we're going to do anything until it, we do the steps. Well, you have cameras in there, and to be honest with you, I think somebody threw down the nuggets in there that someone would purposely said on it. Well, that, I, again, I wasn't here. I don't know. You need to come in, and you need to fill out the incident report. You can see Philip or Eric tomorrow. Okay, well, I hurt my leg pretty badly, and I don't know when I'll be able to come down there. So, well, I'll let Philip know that you're going to come see him in the next days or so or whatever. But, I mean, I can't give you just across the board who's working that day. We have, there are laws to protect us as well as protect you, and that's why I'm not being evasive. I'm just telling you how it, that's how it works. You can tell me you want that stuff, but what, you've already told me you're going to sue us. Okay, you're sue I'm, Walmart. I'm going to have to have my lawyer contact you. To get a that's what, and that's exactly what will happen. They won't contact the store. They will contact our insurance company. Okay, you know what? I'm going to come in tomorrow. Maybe I'll have that to bring talk, to Philip or talk to Eric. No, no, I'm going to talk to the people who were there. I'm going to talk to the old man who was laughing after I fell. And I'm going to find out his name. And I'm going to offer him some money to testify about what he saw. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to end up owning that McDonald's. That, that's your opinion. He's going to be Joe Donald. Okay. Well, you have a nice evening, man. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. You're crazy.